So my wife wants me to make some coasters slash pot stands for her girlfriends for Christmas. And I cut up a bunch of cookies or biscuits, whatever you want to call them, off of a limb of belly yarn. And I tried running it through the thickness planer which was kind of silly because I ended up with this at the end and yeah it didn't go down too well they just fractured and part of the reason is because it's got the pith running through it and wherever the pith is there's just no grip so it just splintered chunks of it apart so I have to build a router sled now I got the idea for this one off of a video that I saw but I'm sure I'll link to it somewhere. Um, I don't know whether he's done an instructional video on it, I'll have to check. But I will rough out his design. So I got myself some door hanging. Um, I got aluminium because frankly it's a heck of a lot lighter than the steel stuff and this is used for running the doors you put the, the carriage in there and it runs back and forth you just screw that to the roof but it's pretty lightweight stuff and it's pretty strong it doesn't flex so perfect stuff for this sort of thing Four blocks cut to 10 centimeters they're just because that's what I did not because of any particular reason um, 30 centimeters I think it was about 34 and the reason for that is it's the distance between that plus that all right so if you're gonna make it that's what you're aiming for. Your router plus a little bit of a gap plus the rail plus the blocks on either side. Because I'm going to place this that way, I want this to make sure that I have a square edge there. Doesn't matter that much. A small variation is not going to kill the project, but every bit of accuracy you can get is good. So, I had checked it out, it's square, and I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so I'm just going to tack this together, glue it and tack it.
so I finished with my cookies and made some round, some with the original profile of the, the branch on it. And I've put the oil, sanded, all that sort of thing. And just got to wait for the oil to cure and I'll put some varnish over the top. But that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is this. So, for about 50 ringgit, which is like 13 US dollars, I made this whole jig and about halfway through I got a little bit annoyed with having to drag the metal across the aluminium and so I ended up just making some bearing wheels for it. I 3D printed a, like a ring around the outside just to lift it up to the size I wanted because I didn't have the right size bearings. But it just slots in and it rolls back and forth, makes it a lot easier. You can just move the router with one hand without having any real problems at all. So if you're going to do it, that's probably a fairly good, good option for you. So certainly worth doing. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, but most importantly, have fun making stuff. Catch you in the next video.